Hello, in my previous tutorial that I made I showed you step by step how to set up um, a server group for admin power that would be powerful have exactly the things you want people to have in a way that meant that they can't hijack and hack your server. That video is important because the information on that in terms of the permissions will be crucial to you because in this video I'm going to explain the higher level of what to do but I won't be going completely in depth into the permissions since that's already been done on the previous video so if you want to watch that previous video it's called set up TeamSpeak 3 permissions create safe admin groups secure channels avoid getting hacked and you can find that at youtube.com forward slash tuts teach so this video is all about how you can have separate individual groups inside your server and they can all have a powerful level of admin but they can't go messing around with other groups of people because they have their own section and they can do what they like with it but they can't go messing around with anyone else's section so as you can see here the server owner is sat here in the server entrance and I have two sections set up what I did to create this is I created a spacer channel where is it? you create the uh, you right click on the server itself cre click create spacer and you put three underscores which is a special protocol that means have the three go across the entire thing so you have a line and then so you have one called zero but it's permanent and then you create another one and call it spacer one with three underscores and another important thing is when you're doing this for both of these spacer channels go to the advanced tab and set them to unlimited otherwise nobody will be able to join any of the other channels off of it then for each section you right click here and you create a sub channel and you call it something like group one entrance or however you want to call it so I've done that for both of these groups this is their main first channel this is where they will create sub channels like AFK from there and then on the first channel that you make for them you edit the permissions and set the delete value and the modify value to 50 so this means that once we've done all this that the individual groups of people themselves will be able to have the power to manipulate their own first main channel because the channels that they create will already have these types of values on because they're the one who created it but since you're the server owner when you create it you get like a 75 so you have to just drop that down on the first channel that's the only one you have to change now whenever someone creates a channel by default they are assigned the channel admin channel group but the channel admin group doesn't have that much power so what I have done is based on the previous video you'll be able to go through and have a look at all of these details what you do is you go through and you add all kinds of abilities that you want you want them to be able to create sub channels permanent channels uh, channels with passwords any codec they want if you want to do that um, and you give them a channel modify section here so that they can create channels and edit them and you give them a channel modify power of 50 and a needed channel modify power grant of 50 this will allow them to be able to change certain options then another thing I've gone through and set the join subscribe and description powers to 50 and give them a grant of 50 for the needed type because this will let them be able to configure their permissions for the channels that they create so if they want they can create secure channels that only certain groups will be able to get into because 
these groups that you will set up, you will give them specific join powers like 20 or 30, and then they can set uh, a channel that will only let people with 20 or higher in, or 30 and higher get in. So once you've done that, you want to also give them a channel permission modify of 50, so it all matches up. And then in the group section, under modify, give them a permission modify power of 50. So all of these 50 permissions go together to make it so that when they right click a channel, they will be able to change the permissions. The final step to get that piece of the puzzle working is in the group information section and you want to make sure they can view list of channel permissions. That will enable them to actually see the screen with those permissions on it, which is this screen. So they can bring it up, they can change the join subscribe and the description view power so they can make it more secure so that only certain people can get in instead of having to just use a password which anybody could give a password out and you'd never know who did it. So once you've got that set up now when, when they go in there they go into their channel you as the server owner right click them while they're in their main first channel that you created you right click the person go to set channel group and give them channel admin which we will see here is the default C shield now once they are in there they can then create sub channels like this they just right click their main channel create sub channel give it a name they can make it permanent they can set permissions when they hit OK, now they've got a channel. So this will let them control what happens in their section. You can even add permissions so that they can ban people from the server if they're in their section. It won't work on someone else. For example, if I try and... I have the ability to kick people, um, which is how I've actually set up the the channel admin group. I've, given that ability to kick but if I try and right click this person who isn't in my section and try and kick them from the server it won't let them because these powerful admin permissions that I've set up are on the channel admin which is a channel group so unless I have admin power in here which as you can see this is the bold name this is me I have no power at all I'm a guest so since I have no power in this section, I can't do anything to that section, or I can't do anything to any of the people in that section. This is what makes this a powerful thing, because it means that you can have completely separate groups of people that may hate each other. And they can all have admin in your server, but they can't mess with you, and they can't mess with each other. They can only control their own section and their own members that are in their section. Okay. So then here's another thing. When somebody in a section creates a channel, by default, they have the channel admin group. Now, this, as it is, can be exploited. Because by default, anybody who goes into a TeamSpeak server can create a channel. So here's the scenario. Some random guy comes in, and they create their own random temporary channel which they're entitled to do, now they have admin power, powerful admin power, inside their channel. Which means that anyone who happens to go into their channel, or if you set up like an entrance where people can be dragged out into another channel, they could perform actions that you might not want random trolls who came into your server doing. For example, if you're allowing them to do server bans, even temporary, for like 30 minutes, you don't want random people coming in causing that kind of problem. So what you need to do as the server owner is go to your server groups, go to both the guest and the normal individually, go to the channel section, and where it says create, you'll see there's a bunch of permissions lit up by default. Just right click it and hit remove permission group for create under the channel section. Do the same thing for normal mode. Right click on create, remove permission group. This means that if anybody just happens to connect,
they can't create a channel of their own. The only people who can create channels are the people who you've given a section to, which in this case is section 1 admin and section 2 admin. Now, what you will probably want to do if you're going to do this is you will want to create several different levels, maybe two or three different types of admin, like the top admin, then the medium admin, and then the low admin, um, in a way so that, as you will see in the previous video, the, the lower admin cannot mess around with the higher admin or take the higher admin's permissions away from them. That's covered in the previous video. So once you've got all those extra channel groups set up, you will have a very nice system where you've got different ranks as people usually call them like you could have a bouncer which has got low level permissions but can just kick out the channel you got your different levels of admin maybe like a clan channel group that has a certain join power to be able to get into clan only channels and then once you've got that set up the only thing left is to create a global server admin server group you just make a new one give it a name and then all you do with this is you just assign this is for your select few group of friends who you want to be able to have global control in the server but not necessarily like break into other people's sections or anything so for the global server admin most of the permissions you'll want are in the client section and that will probably be under admin so you can give them a kick from channel kick from server ban abilities remember to include a maximum time for ban entries if you're using the ban system and also in the basic area you want to make sure they can send messages to the server as well uh, send pokes uh, you want to give them the basic things so that they can help out in a time of crisis they can ban people they can you know do what needs to be done but they can't go editing other people's channels and if there's a channel that's been set up as a secure channel these global server admin people cannot just barge in and enter those channels because the server group here global server admin does not have any channel access permissions as you'll see here this means that their ability to join channels comes from their channel admin rank in your section but if they don't have a rank in someone else's section they will just be the standard zero rank so for the most part they'll be able to join in people's channels if they haven't manually secured them but if they are secure they can't edit them and they can't join them which if you want to do that that's kind of important because that preserves privacy and security obviously if you want them to be able to join any other person's channel you could assign those channel access permissions to their server group and they would be able to get in one thing that you never want to give anyone except for yourself is under the client section and it's called skip channel group permissions never give this to anybody because it, it basically bypasses any limitations on channels and will just get you right into the channels and you can edit them and do whatever you like so for me personally as the server owner I usually just check this off because I don't want to accidentally get into somebody's section because it's none of my business I'm there to deal with problems if they happen but I don't like the idea that I can just walk into somebody's private channel so it's a good idea to turn that off so really all you have to remember is once you set up your channel groups with extra power for the admin and perhaps have a global server admin group and you've taken away guest and normal and any other group ability to be able to create channels so that random people can't just go getting powerful admin in their own channel once you've done that the only thing you need to do to give someone a section is create a brand new spacer channel and edit it so that it's set to the family maximum of unlimited then create a sub channel from there from that spacer for them this will be their main first channel 
once you've created that just edit the permissions which you might want to do from right clicking it and then hit channel permissions show granted and make sure that the needed channel modify power and perhaps if it shows up the needed channel permission modify power meet what you set on the channel admin channel group which in this case is 50 so once you've done that for their first channel that's the only one you need to do it to whenever they create more channels for themselves they will already have that on there since they are the one who created it so hopefully this video has shown you how you can have completely groups of people different groups of people who even hate each other all have admin on your server and not cause problems for you or the different groups so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and you will be notified when I make more of these which I do plan on making more. Thanks.